What's up guys, welcome to your 11th 3D Studio Max tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to be talking about modifiers. Now what a modifier does is it pretty much distorts an object in some way and you can only apply these to editable objects. So I already made this tube right here and I right clicked it and I pressed convert, convert to editable mesh and I didn't show that on my tutorial because when I right click my screen recorder messes up so you should know how to do this from last tutorial just make any object you want it doesn't even have to be a tube and uh, convert it to an editable object and now once you do that you're ready to begin so like I said a modifier is used to distort an object so go ahead and select the object you just created and when you do you should get white brackets around it and now you should have the name of that object right here in your modif modifier list right here and again I'm in the modify panel right there so this modifier list is all the modifiers you can apply to your object to select one just go ahead and take your list scroll down and press something like bend and now you can see this orange bracket surrounds your object and this means that a modifier is applied to it so the parameters of your modifier automatically pop up in your rollouts whenever you apply it to and here's another neat little trick if you want to apply a modifier to several objects at once all you have to do is select several objects at once and select a modifier and that will apply them all to the objects at once so you don't have to apply a modifier to this tube then apply it to another tube and apply it to another tube you can just have three tubes selected apply a modifier and it'll apply it to all three so anyways once you apply a modifier or select it from the list your, parameter, your parameters for that modifier will pop up so then you can go ahead and change that modifier uh, and these parameters are different for every modifier they're modifier specific so this bend lets you choose the angle and also the distance so I'm gonna leave that like I don't know might as well leave it like that for the bend and you can't you don't have to just apply one modifier to an object you can apply multiple as many modifiers as you want actually so I'm going to go ahead and with this object still selected, go in my drop down list and pick another one. What's a good noticeable one? Lattice right here. This, this pretty much means weaved. So now you get this nice little weave pattern and I'm going to, in my parameters, I'm going to drop the radius down a little bit. There we go. So now you can see that we have this new object that was bent and latticed. Whatever the heck that means, you know? But hey, we're not here to discuss what it means, we're just here discussing modifiers and how to use them. So each of these modifiers, all of these does a different really weird thing. And we're going to be using these um, in the future, but right now I just want to show you guys how to use modifiers. And I picked the probably two most noticeable ones we got. So again, anytime you want to apply a modifier, just use it from the drop down list. And also um, change the parameters right here when they pop up. Now another thing that you're going to take note of is these have a two little light bulbs next to the it's called the stack. In the stack you have each of your modifiers and two little light bulbs next to them. What a light bulb means is toggle the modifier on and off. So if you click it off then it stops bending. If you click this one off the lattice disappears. So if you only want to see a view or excuse me see a few of your modifiers just click them off and you should probably know this from like After Effects or like Photoshop or something but anyways that's what it does so anytime you want to get rid of a modifier here's what you do say you just pick the one you want to get rid of like lattice I don't really like that weave so I want to get rid of it you just highlight it by clicking on it and then click this little remove modifier from the stack and if you're wondering what the stack is it's this box right here so that's what the stack is so that is how you remove modifiers so I'm gonna add that modifier again uh, just because I want to show you something else add lattice and move this radius that radius is kind of annoying and there we go you don't have to do that but the last thing I want to talk to you guys about is how to or actually what collapsing an object or collapsing the modifiers mean anytime you work with your modifiers and you got them just how you want them and you want and you're like alright look at that 
Oh, that is the perfect animation right there. I want to keep it just like that. What you can do is collapse your modifiers, and this will permanently apply them to the object. So what you need to do is in your editable mesh or whatever you applied it to, and probably want to do that, right click, or excuse me, right click and pick collapse all. And now you're going to get this little warning, just click yes, and now look at your editable mesh. In your modifier list, you have no modifiers. That's because the modifiers became part of the object and you can't edit them anymore. So again, anytime you want to permanently set your modifiers on that object and you know you're not going to be editing them anymore, what you have to do is right click uh, the mesh and collapse all and that will permanently apply them to your object or model. So that's all I got for you for this tutorial. Hopefully you learned what modifiers are and how they can distort your object and also why they are useful. So we're going to be using these in the next couple tutorials, but for now I just want to show you guys how to use them in the basic one run through of them. So thank you guys for watching and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next tutorial.